Hi guys, my name is Prince Sethi and today we are going to learn functional procedure even though we did uh, in our previous video as well uh, but as of now I am showing how you can count the color through a specific or through a customized function built by you so straightforward I am reaching to VBA editor we will where we are going to write the code for the same like I'm inserting a module over here mentioning the function name like my function name would be count color okay so what I want there should be some colors or like we I would select some range like I would mention this way count color and after that I would select some range fine so this would be my range and I want how many color they have like I do have few colors over here like this would be my range I'm just taking example like this would be my range which contain some other okay just taking uh, them example and I want how many cells contain this green color and how many cells contain this blue color based upon my selection like I would say color count uh, sorry count color whatever the function name I have given I'll select this way like I would select this range or whatever the range I would select and after that I'll give my criteria so my criteria would be this one so it has to be uh, shown me the result means how many cells contain green color fine so let's see how we can build this function through VBA so straightforward I'm uh, reaching over there so okay so over here when I have uh, mentioned this function so first of all I have taken my selection the range and after that my criteria sorry so this would be my range and after that it would be my criteria to mean to say I have to pass two parameter Fine. so I am taking like uh, my first parameter would be of range range or you can say my selection so I am taking a variable like uh, mm -mm -mm. ok I mentioning cell selection as range second one is again and criteria criteria as range fine so uh, this these are the parameters so what I want mm, I have to check in each and every cell so for that I'll apply function uh, apply a loop which is called for each loop for each loop in cell cell is cell would be my sorry for each cell in selection and uh, next would be to run this loop again and again okay so if I'm saying if my if cell dot interior dot color index is equals to grid dot interior dot color index mean to say this would be my grid criteria whatever it is so it will check each and every cell like this 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 and so on so like over here when it would reach over here then it will be counted as a 1 so mean to say if it's been matching then what needs to be do then I'm taking a variable like I'm taking x x is a variable x is of integer type which will hold 0 or null value first time and I want it would be made one increment over there like I can mention over here dim 
x as integer and and if and I want this loop be remain continuous once everything's get done whatever the values comes in x it's been put into my function name which is count color is equals to x so let's see how it's been working over there count color okay so let's was i do have this thing so i'm mentioning count color so first criteria is my selection so this is my selection which i'm making oh sorry is equals to count color so this is my selection making freezing it and this would be my criteria so 31 cells contain uh, green color and if I'll just fill down this color so 59 colors uh, having this this color so like I'm taking one more example like I'm just taking okay so I'm making this way this way this way okay this way so I'm taking three four five colors so that you can at least okay so we oh, want this 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 and this is a color so I do have four color so I'll just fill down this formula and these are cells so uh, this would be the code for the same so I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching have a nice day